once there was a cap seller who would travel long distances to sell his caps. His caps looked very colorful and attractive and so were in great demand. One day his wife said, Some villagers living across the forest had come to purchase the caps. But since there were no caps left in the house, I told them that you would yourself go to the village with the caps. Oh, what have you done? said the cap seller. It's impossible to avoid the dangers posed by the monkeys in the forest. Oh, come on! You can't reject the deal just for those naughty monkeys, said the wife. So the cap seller started his journey with his basket of colorful caps. It was a hot day and after walking for some time, he felt tired. Oof, oof, oof. Such a hot day. I think I need to take rest for a while, said the cap seller. As the cap seller lay fast asleep, a group of monkeys that lived in the forest came down from the trees. They were attracted to the colorful caps in the basket and started playing with them. Suddenly, the cap seller woke up. He was shocked to see the monkeys playing with his caps. Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm ruined! They are taking my caps! Hey, you scoundrels! Give my caps! Give my caps! Cap seller was very angry and sad too. He had no idea as to how to get his caps back. He ran after them, but they climbed the mango tree. Cap seller was tempted after seeing the juicy mangoes. He plucked one and started eating. And to his surprise, the monkeys also plucked the mangoes and started eating. Cap seller threw the mango seed far away and so did the monkeys. Cap seller was a clever man. He realized that the monkeys would imitate whatever he did. So an idea struck his mind. He took a cap and wore it on his head. The monkeys immediately did the same with the caps they had snatched. The clever cap seller then took the cap off his head and threw it on the ground. Seeing him, the monkeys did the same with the caps on their heads. Great! Great! That's what I wanted! My plan has worked! Said the cap seller. The cap seller gathered all the caps thrown by the monkeys and put them back into his basket and went on his way to the village. <laughs>